The views, comments, and opinions of the following program do not necessarily reflect those of Morris Media Studios, MorrisMediaLive.com, or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. Like my green with crystals like folders, picking up momentum, rolling like boulders. They call me ice, but I'm really much colder. My rhymes is heavy like the weight on my shoulders. I'm spitting that red hot smoldering lava. I fight to the end like the Navajo. Crack a bottle though, make it the goose with cranberry and triple sec. Triple my check, I feel the ripple effect of a fool on the loose. I hit you from every angle, from obtuse to right street shit like JJ. I'm dynamite, slide me some dough, I show you an execution in the flesh, and promise not to leave nothing left, if you vomit I keep stabbing, shooting, damaging, looting, till it ain't no disputing who the greatest is. <laughs> How big is my selfie stick? Man, these fools starting already, Look, man. I got the Negro selfie stick, it's got girth and length. <laughs> <laughs> Take your pick. I don't want to hear no excuses. Oh, sounds oh, you, like we got a dreamer. They'd be like, well, your Negroes <laughs> have length, but it's all about the girth. Fuck that. I got both. <laughs> My selfie stick got both. This nigga got selfie sticks with length and girth. Yeah, man. His Trey shit. Love, you've been known to use a selfie stick, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been known to use a selfie motherfucking stick. With a name like Trey Love, what the fuck you expect? Come on, man. I got, Trey I Love his selfie stick. Yeah, Trey Love and selfie stick. Trey Love and selfie stick. Yeah, shit. Damn, I, man. I dips my stick. How do you use that motherfucker? Like this. Like incognito? You nah, be like holding it like hell this? Hell no, nah, I hold my shit. Don't matter. Don't let me be on the red carpet or some shit. Be cooling out. I'll be like, bam, I hold my shit. On the red carpet? Just that angle and shit. Oh, this bam. nigga. I be, yeah. I be like yeah. nonchalant Negro selfie stick. Like, <laughs> yeah, this nigga. I, I be like, I, I don't have a selfie stick. Click. <laughs> right. That's how you're supposed to use a selfie stick. He acted like he got a partner with him and yeah, shit. I, like, click, yeah. I click my uh, stick. Can you hold the... Uh, there you go. Hold the camera. Take this picture from me, dog. Yeah. Hey, I get, I get, I get kind of Caucasian with my Negro selfie stick. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah, man. I be snapping pictures like it's like, oh yeah, I don't have a hello. Uh, I don't have a so somebody hit this picture just right. Nigga, I be editing that shit after it's all over, man. Uh, Changing the light, putting and another nigga arm in there and shit. Oh yeah. uh, man, <laughs> rotating my shit, <laughs> man. Is working. Ah, uh, hey, thanks for joining Mike Robinson Boulevard, y'all. We got a dope show for y'all tonight. What's up? Yeah. To the left of me, I got my main man, Mel Rose Uncut. The that's, what? That's right. Most interesting cop. Oh, it ain't Mel Rose in <laughs> <not> here, man. <laughs> uh, we got my main man, Trey Love. Y'all seen him on the show about five, six, seven times. Yeah, what's up, the everybody? Pl- Mr. Playboy of Comedy. You seen him on Comic View. You seen him on all this shit, man. Yeah. What's up, Trey you. Love? Man, I'm chilling, Mike. How you doing, brother? Hey, much love, man. I'm cool, man. Yeah, Thanks man. for coming, man. Oh, Thanks man. for... Jumping in and uh, supporting Mr. Melrose's seat right there, man. Anytime, bro. And to the right of me, I got my main man, Dewan Brown. What's up? Okay, oh, I'll tell you what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> what's up in Chicago, by the way, man? Yeah. Nah, man. man, we got my man, so John Eddie. Chicago Eddis. people. We loving the Chicago people. Yeah. Wait, what the fuck? I'm just saying, man. Every time, I'm every giving you an introduction. Oh, what's up, uh, yeah. John Eddings, <laughs> he director, hey, writer, man? producer, actor, extraordinary <laughs> actor. Yeah, damn, man, you hey, got a lot of hats. Hey, man. what's up with Chase Bank, though, man? I'm just saying. what the fuck is that? No, I just had to do what he did. He threw the shit off. Oh about yeah, Chicago. it was the same oh. level, right? That's that was the saying. same level. Man, what's, what they be doing to Chase? Man, what the fuck's going on with Chase I'm Bank? I'm about to go see a man about a horse. I'm gonna take a picture of my check with my selfie stick. That is. Oh, oh, then you're going to get the last laugh, huh? Yeah, because I'm be like, I didn't take that picture. Give my money back. <laughs> no, that's right. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, it's crazy, man. Well, look, y'all, thanks for joining, man, on this nice little summer night on a Tuesday night. Dang, summer's almost over, man. I'm mad as hell, man. Hurts. I love the summertime, Did, did man. you get it in in the summer? I got it in, just, man. I did a was little. Was you PG-13? Man, I probably was PG-13, honestly. But I did touch the beach about a couple times. Nice. You know what I mean? Um, I'm glad ain't, we don't have that heat wave no more. That shit was killing me. But. Oh, the heat wave, yeah, because that was all over the place. But, you know, my summer, I kept it corny, kept it horny. Uh, and then, you know. Damn, we're now on his second dick joke. Right. <laughs> hey, he came ready tonight. The second, One so, dick joke per minute. Nigga. So far. <laughs> and he's uh, got 58 more waiting for you. <laughs> I come ready with the dick jokes. Uh, unfortunately. Hey, how can I share this, man? I'm trying oh, to share. share you told me man. Facebook. Go I'm trying to, to share this shit. Man. I'm on your page, on, man. man. I'm on your page, man. I can't even. 
That's us right That's there. That's us right there. Oh, it ain't us. That ain't even us, man. Oh, is it going live? It, hey, I don't see us live, man, because I'm trying to share this shit. Oh, well. You told me, you know, I, I didn't go live mm. on my shit because I want to share with my boy Mike. I want to share his shit to my page because I still want my following <laughs> to check us out, man, because it's going to be a dope-ass show. We just getting started, kid. Oh, we got a lot of shit to talk about. All right, we Plenty do, man. So, look, about. this is what we're talking about today, mm. man. I'm going to go into some real quick stuff about what's trending. Uh, then we're going to talk, we're going to have this little segment called If I Had to Choose. Mm, mm, mm. These brothers ain't ready. I'm apologizing in advance for that one. <laughs> yeah, and then <laughs> we're going to take a break and then come back and talk about some acting, talk about some writing, festivals, all that good stuff too. So let's get busy. First things first. Today, gentlemen, yes, is National Red Wine Day. Mm. Anybody know that? <laughs> There's always some kind of day, but red wine, <laughs> fuck it. National Red Wine Day, man. If you're a red wine drinker, dude, this is your day, man. So I looked up a couple little facts about red wine just to see what was important. And Break look, it down. I, I saw a couple things, man, that kind of tripped me out. First thing first is drinking red wine in a small dose is better than you not drinking at all. Can you believe that? Yes. It's better to have some than none at all. Yes. If you drink I, like I can one see glass. that. I don't believe it, but I'm willing to accept it. Basically, it has a bunch of antioxidants in it that help your blood flow, basically. There's so many antioxidants in it that's concentrated, high levels, that it helps your blood flow. What about tequila? Does tequila have the same effect? Because, I mean, tequila, like, I usually tequila. get I have a shot a day. <laughs> I'm telling you. I, sometimes, like today, I might have two or three of them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I think Depends. tequila help you sweat, man. Is that what it is? <laughs> it helps your what, pores and shit. Is that what it do? <laughs> it, it does that, too. It, it opens your pores it, up. It, 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 it improves your perspective, too, your beauty perspective. Yeah, oh, your, does yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, look, I, was, I, was, I saw, like, this sister in Alabama, and... Uh, <laughs> Lord. One it's shot or two. Alabama. This was in Birmingham. Uh, after second shot of tequila, I had to do a double take. That's really? all I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I don't even know what that means. Double take. Yeah. He be like, he be like having liquid muscles. You know, like, <laughs> you know, like, you know, somebody like they don't want to fight in that. Nah, man, leave me alone, man. I ain't in that. Then they had two, three drinks. Come on, motherfucker. Where did he go? <laughs> what the fuck, <laughs> nigga? What you, 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 want, you want to fight, motherfucker? Yeah. Shit, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Oh, kick. Uh, yeah, that's him. He get them. He get the bitches go to looking good to him when he get drunk. Oh, I'd be like, but I'm not fighting Halle Berry right there. Halle Berry, you cool. No, nah, nigga, more like blueberry. Poison <laughs> <laughs> uh, berry. All right, look, the next but, thing, though, let me tell but you. How, how much wine do you have to drink in order to get some benefits off of No, just wine? one glass. One, one glass. Yeah, but if you drink more than one glass, then you are going into the negative benefits because it's <laughs> fucking with other shit. Okay, well... So, anyways, one glass. The next thing it says, when, when at a wine-tasting event, it's not frowned upon for spitting out your wine. Take a sip of wine and hold it in your mouth for a couple of seconds, then either swallow or spit it out. This is an acceptable way to know if wine is good. A good wine will have lengthy aftertaste. <laughs> and, and, like, projectile with the spit... <laughs> That's another thing. Like, how far will it go? <laughs> Especially if you're insulted by the motherfucker who served you the wine. See, check this out. What I like is, it, it, I like America. See, in America, we got black people, got white people. At a white function, could you see them white folks just, mm -hmm, and then spitting their wine out, you know, all eloquent and stuff. But think about us, black people. Imagine it's a bunch of brothers and they're like, man, what the hell wrong with this wine? We not go, we not even going to go to the <laughs> party. Could you, imagine at the family reunion, everybody just spitting out wine. It's some things that are culturally <laughs> different. <laughs> yeah. You can't do it, you, and you can't spit it out in a mixed uh, environment, because white people folks will call the police. Oh, that. yeah, they'll be like, <laughs> yeah. oh, he, he's spitting <laughs> out the wine. Oh, my God, I they're spitting him. wine. They're no, I, I spitting. Saw, <laughs> help, they're spitting wine. He, he spit the Jeez. wine out on my shoes. Jeez. I saw him. Yeah, it, They're spitting wine. She's a spit. She's, she's <laughs> a bunch of white women spitting out wine. She's a spitter. It's leaking. Mm. All right, man. The next one. Mm. Why, why do you store wine laying down? Anybody got to know what that is? To keep the cork moist. I'm just guessing. <laughs> this nigga said he just guessing. What you say? I don't even say nothing because I don't know why. I, don't even, <laughs> I drink. I drink Patron, man. Like I'm, so you I can. So you can stack stuff. more of them. Ah, uh, no, you was right the first time. You got to lay wine down when you're storing it 
so that the wine itself keeps the cork moist. Because if you don't, if you store it standing up, the sh- cork shrinks, and then it eventually falls into the wine. Dang, you dang, dang, damn, boy, I'm trying to teach y'all I, some y'all game, I, I shrink my intelligence sometimes. For, he teaching us. Yeah, I shrink, I shrink my intelligence game. for the room. You don't just it's come game. on this show not learning no shit, you, man. You, think that you knew that shit. It's I, like, he knew what he talking about. Yeah. I think it's shit. Hey, y'all. I'm accidentally intelligent. It's my GED having ass that was like, I don't know. Shit, I mean, what? <laughs> was, Look, but he answered it in like one second and yeah, was like, I, I think I heard. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Didn't wanna, I didn't want to act like I was bougie. <laughs> hey, old Malcolm X over here, he know a lot of stuff. He over there talking about, no, because see, as black people, the color, yeah. we lay the bottle down. Purpolation. In order to <laughs> ensure that the bottle's top is lubricated properly. Because as a black man, it's my prerogative because I bought the wine. See, see, my, see, I, see, I like to lay my shit down. Yeah. So I keep my shit laid. Uh, all right, next one. By any means necessary. I, I got only one more. On, on, Thanks on this for these fun movement. facts about wine. Yeah, man, like you got to learn, man. Now, this one really tripped me out right here. Women are more inclined to the effects of wine than men. This is partly because they have less enzymes in the stomach lining that is needed to break down the alcohol simply. I always wonder why ladies can drink wine and be all bubbly and shit. <laughs> I'm feeling faded. I'm feeling drunk off of wine. I could drink wine all night, nigga, and we'll feel the same way. I'm so glad you said that. It doesn't affect me that way. I thought it was ladies, a blindfold. I'm so man. glad you said that because you just taught me something. I swear I didn't know that. Mike. I didn't know that either, That's man. New. That's brand new. Y'all ladies, man. Y'all enzymes, man. Your wow. enzyme game is... <laughs> I, I, thought it, I thought it was a power of suggestion and the blindfold that they had. Oh, is that what it was? <laughs> you mean well, this with, with it without blindfold? Yes, yes. Okay, without blindfold. Oh, in darkness? Yeah. <laughs> That's why women could drink wine. Yo, you just man. taught me something because I'm like, man, I'll be drinking wine like it's Kool Aid and stuff. Yeah, you know and it ain't nothing. Like, yeah. but, but they drink but wine, they and, drink get wine and, and get faded. And they had two glasses and be like, I can't have no more. That's why they be like, oh, like, my God, what the I don't fuck? Have some wine. That's why women is Are you full and shit? Amazing shit. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to do Because they can have babies. Yeah. Well, I wanted to do Bill Cosby. They got his beat on that. Wait a minute. The wine game according to Bill Cosby? Yeah, the wine game according to Bill Cosby. Okay, I'm going to step back on that one. Why? <laughs> mm, Jello, nigga, Jello pudding wine. This nigga Jello got acting wine. jobs to get, man. What you talking about, man? Yeah, you don't mean, don't Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby <laughs> man, but, but you remember back in college with the Wisconsin sleepers and we, we with the Whoa. blindfolds? Wisconsin sleepers. Y'all see what he talking Wisconsin about? Wisconsin sleepers. We should play. That's why I had the blindfold reference. I don't want to get caught up. I don't want to get hashtagged on some shit. But nah, we used to just play yeah. We, Wisconsin sleepers. You had to be certified we as was, a sleeper to even come was, in my crib. We was uh, doing too much. Yeah, we was doing a lot in the dark. <laughs> a lot in the dark. All right, look. Next one, man. We off this one. All right, so this was interesting to me. This trending, this dude named Drew Michael. Break it down. This dude right here just shot a comedy Netflix special. I uh, got a cover of his uh, uh, poster up there. He, he just shot a comedy Netflix special with no audience. I'm this a, dude right yo, here. Yo, so he's on stage, and you yo. watch it. There's no audience. There's no laugh tracks. There's a white dude. There's nothing. Yo, I'm going to say this. Like, I'm going to let you talk first, because I'm excited right now about just you letting, bringing that to my And attention. look, I say this, man. I wanna, like, I wanna say I'm into laughs. some innovation, man. Yes. I'm impressed by the I wanna uh, the courage. Laughs. Yes. I'm impressed by, like, let's do some shit differently, That's man. That's what I'm saying, Let me man. be confident in my yes. jokes. Let me just say my Drew shit Michael, into man. a blank room. That's right. And kill y'all motherfuckers. Yeah. And he literally did his in his Netflix special this way, man. Man, you know what? Like, I think all of us in here are um are- HBO? Oh, see, I just gave oh, Netflix HBO a plug. Special? Uh, it's HBO. I'm sorry, I didn't say HBO <laughs> right on the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> HB Ho, and no, he did, look. but he did it, and he did it with no audience or nothing. No audience. Bro. Here's Pretty my clever. thing. Here's, yeah, very clever. I'm gonna say flat out, man. That that kind of hearing stories like that excite me because it's like when you put your mind to something, and and, and we, I don't think we're. We have the intelligence to innovate, but I think fear stops us from going ahead and say, you know what, this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it this way, and I'm going to put it out there. And and just like they say in marketing, you know, get a 
roll the spaghetti, throw it against the wall and see what happens. Whatever sticks is there. Like really going for it, man. I'm, I'm like proud of that dude. Like I salute that motherfucker, man. Like I don't even know you, my nigga. You might be a cracker, a hunky, a white boy or a Spanish or whoever the fuck. But whatever you I think you he's are, like, nigga, uh, like, like some type of some black type Hispanic. Of, he's some type of black Hispanic. See, yeah, yeah. He look modernly colored. He mixed, he mixed this shit with some niggas. He like he like beans and shit. I'm loving that, man. <laughs> and the beans that. and rice. So yeah. Real shit. He, he I'm loving it. like he like hot sauce. But that's, that's that. the kind of way probably like, you know, because I, look, I applaud y'all because going up in front of a live audience, man, that's some scary shit, you know. Uh, I probably would have done it that way too because, you know, fuck it. You ain't got to worry about people not laughing at your shit. And you ain't got to worry about people laughing. You ain't got to worry about people not laughing at your shit. Worry about, and you ain't got to worry about people laughing at your shit. Right. That's but funny. if you're the first one to do it, people will come check it out. They so will. They you got to innovate. That's I, I, I'm going to watch it just based on the strength of that. Right, being first. I, exactly. might, I might DVR it and, you know, yeah. uh, uh, but uh, and eventually fade out and uh, wander away from it, but I will check it out. Well, too. I saw a clip. I saw a little 30 second clip and it was good. I was like, damn, this nigga got me laughing wow. in my room. Wow. So anyway, man. But wasn't nobody else laughing. That's hard. That's kind of awesome. It's 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 different. It's, it's very different. I'm, different. I applaud different, most definitely. All right, man. This next story that's trending is dude uh Andrew Gilliam. I want to give him a quick shout out. This brother is the first black nominated for governor in the state of Florida ever. And this dude just won the Democratic nomination today. <clears throat> Booyah. That's pretty special, man. A regular black dude, man. A little family guy and stuff, man. Got his little kitties. Dude, he's not some do-gooder black dude or some fake bow-tie fuckboy-ass nigga that, <laughs> you know. Hey, man. Hey. Hey. Kill the alligators, man. No, man. This dude is a regular guy, man. You know so what I mean? far. But I give him, I <laughs> so give him props. Far, yeah. I give him props. You know, I just hope that. Everything he does is cool and up and up because uh, yo Andrew, they watching your ass. Let me just tell you. Well, that right. let, let's t- let me tell you what he ran on. He ran on uh, legalization of marijuana. I'm down with that. He ran on climate control. He ran on health care. I'm down with that. He ran on um, some other shit. I was down with, but I was just like, damn, you want it like that, motherfucker. But anyway, he ran on what he wanted to run. On. I mean, yeah, we live in a, exactly. We live in man. But he's a Bernie. He's a Bernie Sanders, you know, supporter type dude. Well, yeah, yeah, because Bernie came in and and stumped for endorsed him. with him. Yeah, but I, I I wish him all the luck in but the world. But look at the world we live in today, man. If Donald Trump could be president, man, y'all already know it's that's like I know it's not the best thing in the world, but that really is ushering in some change because that tell you that pretty much anybody, anybody. Could, say it. Anybody well, well when Obama won, nigga, anybody could win because when a black dude from Hawaii named Osama, goddamn it, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> named, nah, o- right. named Barack Obama, right. middle name Hussein, you absolutely right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, he, once he, if that guy could win, anybody could win. And then now Trump just proves it. Back, yeah. to Trump came right yeah. back. It ca- took Trump a, came, took a deeper step, huh? Like, oh, y'all think it's a game? I'm gonna go from <laughs> y'all think Ronald Reagan was something being an actor and president. I'm gonna be a reality TV star. Ooh. Then I'm gonna run and win. He, he came that? in like the white male Cardi B and just lowered yeah, the bar. What y'all want to do? <laughs> and it's like, okay, and then stepped over the shit, like you know. <laughs> And I make builders move. That's right. Except, except Cardi B is way doper because she exceeded. <laughs> the shit. He he went he lowered the bar and then and still can't get over it. Right. <laughs> it's like yeah, if, if if he could do it now, anybody can motherfucking do anybody it. Anybody oh, can do it. God Matter of fact, Cardi B could do it. <laughs> Cardi Real B talk. might do it, shit, shit. man. That's why you bullshit? Yeah. <laughs> Let me start kissing ass right now. Shit. I loves me some Cardi B. Yeah. Kanye was talking about that. Yeah. Kanye could run his ass to the parking lot. I know. All right, man. Next He's item, nuts man. On Kanye. I thought this was interesting. Uh, comedian Louis C.K. is was actually the top trending item today on Twitter because he did his first comedy show in New York since the allegations of him uh, being me rude too. and all that shit. Exactly. Well, what did he really do though? Because he, his thing is he pulls his dick out in front of women. He likes to get naked, pull his dick out. Not naked, like just through his pants and shit. Just like in a room. He'll come in a room and pull his dick out. Now, the thing that was different about him is, because this happened, the, this came out when, you know, it was Cosby shit coming out. It was fucking uh, Russell Simmons. It was Harvey Weinstein. All around the same time. He was the only one that admitted it. He was the only one that said, dude, man, I got a fucking problem, man. I admit it, man. I, I do it. I didn't really think it was that bad. <laughs> And I admit it. And it kind of like, 
Reduce the pressure on him, dude. You know he, what I mean? He, In he, a way, he let the air out the balloon. But raise your hand if you ever took your dick out. <laughs> or, or am I gonna be the only one? I mean, look. Wait, I thought you was gonna say more. So. I, I'm gonna say more, oh, but okay. listen, listen. I apologize for this shit myself, but it wasn't no real scandalous type shit, right? If you, what you mean? You didn't if, jack at, it. at some point you just time, it out, but you didn't jerk it. <laughs> I thought it was my Negro selfie stick, <laughs> but at some point in time, at some point in time, you gonna make your move. Now it may not work out. It might work out. You don't know. Now, at least he said, look, he said, in, in the count of 10, I'm going to take my dick out. If you're still here, my dick will be here at the same time as you. And they stayed around, and when he took it out, they was like, oh. And then they came around and complained, and now they said, okay, he inhibited us from getting jobs or whatever. That's a whole other thing. But, you know, his, his, his situation is going to be a little bit different from everybody else's because he didn't forcibly do anything to anybody. What he, his problem was that, they say he, he he kept them from getting a job. So it's time for him. Louis, to, though? They didn't say that about Louis. That's what they said about Louis C.K. He kept them from getting a job? The, 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 at least from what I heard, the two women who launched the allegations. Oh, man, whatever, man. Uh, Pulling yeah. your dick out. How you do that? How's that? How does that relate? I don't know. I can't say. I Listen, I, at some point in time, you got to get a second chance, though. Not necessarily pull your dick out again, but you got to get a second chance. <laughs> hey, that career. was only one strike. <laughs> <laughs> You got to you got to get another chance. You got to get another chance to add a career and three, and three files. Yeah, it is. At some point in time, you draw the line of some behavior. Nah. This one was over a little a tad bit over the top, but uh, you know maybe he's testing the waters to see where 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 he is right now. All right, man. Chance. All right, man. Well, anyway, dude, he came out, did a New York show, uh, did a little bravery. You know, got on stage at a small club. So I just thought that was interesting. All right, next one, man. We're going to play this little quick little game called If I Had to Choose One. Now, listen, oh, I'm going to put two things on the, up on the screen back to back. And you got to choose one, God damn it. You got to choose one. All right? All right? So you get to choose. First one. This guy is what's called a porta potty in Europe. The nigga actually holds Hell the toilet and then the piss no. goes down out to the street. Hell okay? no. Is this or <laughs> this nigga works in the sewer. Oh, hell. With all the shit, all the trash, no. all the piss. Hell no. Which one you choosing? Which one am I choosing? Ah! You gonna hold the piss? I'm gonna hold, <laughs> hold up, y'all. You gotta let nigga have his dick out. I'm a, you gotta have his dick out right by your I'm a, head. I'm gonna sit there and let somebody just pull their dick out and I'm gonna hold yeah. the goddamn. Penises, that's where I draw the line. <laughs> I'm gonna hold the goddamn toilet. Now, Doug Gunn, penis, penis is where I draw the line. God damn. Random penises. You, <laughs> yeah. you, you can stop right there, Missy. <laughs> then you got the goddamn shit. The other choice. You tell me I gotta choose in between like working my, in the fucking shit right there, working nigga. In, that's the sewer right in the there. Sewer. Yeah, I can get geared up for that one. You can get geared up. Yeah, I, get, I can get geared up for that one. But you know, random yeah, penises on piss. the street, and uh, you know, <laughs> man, I don't even know. Right, so you Do choosing I have that? to choose? You gotta I'm, choose I'm, one. You I'm choosing choosing that? Plus, dude gets to wear all this protective gear. Uh, that's what I would want to wear. And he got his face covered. And, and, and <laughs> Which exactly. one make the most? Which one make the most? Okay, that's a good question. Probably, that nigga probably make more, dude. The sewer dude. I'm thinking the sewer dude. The dude right there, man, he ain't making no dough. <laughs> yeah, the, the random penis is anybody could do that. Yeah. The dick don't bother me. So All right, so like, y'all got to choose. You picking the sewer and you picking the sewer? Oh, I have a problem. Nah, I, I don't think I'm trying to get in that sewer, man. I could turn my head and be like, wrong nigga piss. I, <laughs> I ain't got to look at I ain't got to even see oh, the thing. Oh, can, uh, can you put the bucket down and nah, walk away? Nah, you got to hold it, man. That's oh, the job. Yeah, I ain't holding. No bucket I'm, while you I'm, pissing, I'm holding the piss shit, uh, but I don't want to get my black ass in no fucking pissing shit. All right, man. All right, that's, man. man. That's, that's next a valid one. point. All right, we got yeah, the next that's one. Disgusting. All right, look. That's either this disgusting. person, she is what's called a toe jam cleaner. Oh my god! All she does is clean niggas' toe jam. Oh my god! A toe jam cleaner. Y'all. It's her. Uh huh. Or a deodorant tester. They go see all them ladies that go down the line uh, smelling niggas uh, underarms. I got I got to defer to my brother from Chicago again. Uh, to, to what what is the pay again? Uh, right, What's right, the pay right. On that one? He want to use mine. There, like, there are no winners in this one, except <laughs> except who gets paid more. A fucking toe jam cleaner. <laughs> Hey, low key, I'm glad that was a goddamn underarm. I thought it was legs. No, I'm like, it's an underarm. Can I just say for the record, I've done both, but accidentally, <laughs> uh, you know, I, uh-huh. yeah, <laughs> yeah, try not to. Yeah, 
Oh, you've done the toe jam? I think I might have done the accidental underarm sniff, I've done the, but I haven't done the toe jam. God damn. I've Those done are the, I've done the toe jam accidentally. Those are ways You ever want to get down with a sister and really impress her so you're going to suck some toes? you got to inspect them first. Yeah. Because especially she had on tennis shoes and black socks. Oh, and black there socks? Would be, there would be lint in between those toes. <laughs> yeah. So you, you, do wanna check, you do want to check for toe jam. Uh, you can be uh, bougie if you want to. But, uh, you know, we asked a red wine question, the toe jam. I got a... Yeah, you know what... It, so you, know what you choosing, though, man? I'm, I'm choosing a... Uh, oh, <laughs> ah, shit. I'm choosing choose? whichever pay more. <laughs> you choosing whichever pay Which one more. you think pay more? I would think the deodorant... I don't know, man. That motherfucker. The odor looked like a steady job. Yeah, but the that, toe jam, that toe jam. That's, 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 that's moderately Korean. That nigga, I, I am that Asiatic Negro. But look, he's tipping, though. I bet it paid more. <laughs> you put that, them toe jams. When you show that foot again. Hey, them toe jams is paying. <laughs> Pull this when you show that toe again. You this know nigga what? is tipping right there, man. You got to tip. When you yeah, come in there, are, man, you got to have a those seat. Are, those are male toes. I, uh, I got to draw the line there. <laughs> I might have to just. Underarm. <laughs> yeah, Negro. I mean, Mel Toes. I just. Ah, uh, Trey Love. You ain't choosing. You gotta choose. I gotta man. choose. I'm. I, all. I, Cause see, the thing is. Okay, check this out. The reason why I'm gonna just go nigga, ahead, sp- no, no, check this get out. Get to it, man. For real, the reason why I'm gonna go with the underarm <laughs> is because I ain't gotta touch the underarm. If I if with the toes, I gotta touch these crusty, uh, funky, true. nasty ass Good goddamn point. toes and Have shit. Have you ever sucked toes up? Good, Good point. Nah, nah. I, I've no. done it, man. I done ate some pussy. Nah, I done ate some pussy. Of course not, but you, but nigga, that's nigga, a different kind toes, of toes. That's a different kind of you know. <laughs> that's a different delicacy toes. altogether. I'm, I'm trying to think. I've done it about once. I don't need one of my one of my exes watching to my oh nigga you ate. Some toes. Let me think. Yeah, yeah, she gonna say yeah. somebody gonna call in here. Three two three two nine three three seven five. He lying. He yeah. ate some toes. Anybody Trey Love? Anybody got their toes ate by Trey Love? Anybody got Trey, Trey Love? Would you run for mayor so we can get all the dirt? We gonna find him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right so all right, man. Find everything, Last one, man. Y'all know choosing ass niggas. Last one. This dude right here is a cattle sperm extractor. Oh. Fuck! <laughs> you have nothing better to do with your time, do you, dog? You can tell Is it Mike. this guy or this guy? Oh, you what? gotta stick your. your <laughs> you gotta go gotta inside stick. the ass of the goddamn thing. That's yes. that's look like an elephant. This no, guy what, what right is here his job? is his. He is um the elephant, an elephant inspector. inseminator. He's a what? You know, like you know, like the sperm. Like they they take the sperm from one and they. they but that's oh, an no, elephant, oh. though. Mike Boogie, that's an elephant. It is an elephant. Oh. Uh, that's what I'm saying. It's an elephant. So you got to choose. You going to go in their ass all the way mm, <laughs> in a sack, mm, in a trash bag, nigga? Mm, or are you going to cipher this motherfucker's mm, <laughs> Same mind. This is disgusting. <laughs> okay, okay. This is just what, if that, what if the elephant coughed? So, like, do you would have you to get, ah, would you get ah, sucked ah, in? Ah, <laughs> ah. He said, what if the elephant coughed? <laughs> you like, up in that bitch. Get this nigga out of here. Ah, I'm going to be honest with you. And this ain't going to, none of it's going to come out right. <laughs> Horrible. But uh, I'm going I'm to I'm opt Horrible. for the elephant inseminator only because <laughs> that seemed like a more scientific process. <laughs> Now, oh, could, it's more respectable. Yeah. Now, now, jacking off a bull <laughs> is going to take a while. It's like, okay, how long? It's like, you could be ready for your lunch break in a minute. Like, how, ah! long, how long do I have to jack off this bull? And some bulls are stubborn. They're a little reluctant. And then, what the if you see that? Ready. Stubborn. You, you may see that bull at a party. <laughs> And it'd be like that bull be backing up all the time into you. It's like, okay, <laughs> god damn, you know. <laughs> yeah. you look, oh, look, John. Gail King is on the CBS Morning News complaining <laughs> about how she can't find enough single black men and you're jacking off a bull. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Look, That's man. bullshit. Hey. Uh, in the name of Gail King, I'm passing on the bull. <laughs> hey, he's passing on the bull. Yeah, I'll, I'll impregnate the hey, elephant. Because that, fucking... like, that seemed like a one time <laughs> squeeze the semen. You might have a light that, that, semen, that semen's already been extracted and you just got to put an elephant. <laughs> yeah. So you would crawl yourself. Yeah, you you didn't do that part, right? Elephant vagina. You'll crawl up in oh, there. Oh man, you're a real one. That's a man right there. I think, he's crawled, I think in, I he's crawled in worse places. <laughs> yeah, accidentally. I've done it accidentally. Mike I'm sure Bo- already. Might say he's crawled. Oh, my oh, third year of college. He done already crawled up in elephant. Hey, my third year of college. I think I did this shit accidentally. <laughs> yeah. <Wow. laughs> Wait, is this an elephant's pussy, man? Wait, right. man. Yeah, baby, you said this is Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> Cirque du Soleil. Somebody's lying. <laughs> man. So stupid, man. All right, y'all. Look, man. That's it. That's Jack and the bull, though. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> I don't jack the bull either, man. You don't jack Fuck the that, bull, man. I, I think I have to go in, man. Like, what? The, where the hell? I. I 
Can you can you can you jack off the bull, take that semen and put it into the elephant Ooh. and get a bull? That's probably what they yeah. get some kind of centaur and shit. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> let's do that. I, maybe that's 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 can body. Jobs. Yeah, now that's fun. These guys that got, sounds like fun. They got me beat. <laughs> you, you they got me beat. I don't. I can't even. I'm. Just, I don't know. Man, all right, y'all. It's a toss up. <laughs> we'll play a quick song. Yeah, we'll be I, right I would back. tend to decline jacking a bull. Though. <laughs> yeah, no jacking on the bizzle, nigga. I love that I guess I right there. Right. From sea to shining sea, I'm the only MC to see. From sea to shining sea, I'm the only MC to see. From sea to shining sea, I'm the only MC to see. You a thunderstorm and I'm Katrina. I'm a big giant and you, you Thumbelina. I saw my first reggae show with Tipitinas with Pato Bantan smoking his sense of Mina. You dress like a ballerina. I'm a Leo, the real king, like Regina. I prefer the shotgun over the Nina and the Rego over the Six Fina. I put my saw on your neck like talking Tina. I be jogging and shit, so I'm walking Lena. My mom's just died, so I'm talking Mina. I'm looking for Ina. Word, has anybody seen her? I heard she fucked with Hawthorne on the side and smoke and drink with Gardena. I'm the middle line between good and bad, like the Los Angeles. Sports arena You got roses in your bowl like Pasadena I be with a gang of niggas like Altadena They call us niggas, niggas and Mexicans wetbacks That's how they keep that wedge between us Can't fuck with me From sea to sea Hey, from sea to shiny sea I'm the only MC to see From sea to shiny sea I'm the only MC to see Call me a nigga, that's the least of my worries Niggas be busting off their shots and flurries It's a beautiful thing like Keith Murray Like Flavor said, yo, my vision ain't blurry If you want some, step up, hurry, hurry I'm stuck on the pot like the juice is a curry And I still can't see out this hole I'm so supposed to get a <laughs> this nigga said you get a marriage merit no. badge in Boy Scouts for sucking toe. Hey, hey. <laughs> and look, what that shit look like? You got a big toe on that motherfucker, just like on the on the pin. Really, really though, you gotta suck young toes because when you get uh, older, young toes. Uh, when you get older now, young toes. these toes got some mileage. Now what's right, young? Right, young toes. What's young? Like twenty three and mm, 19, 20, 30 depends. to twenty. I don't went, damn nineteen. Oh shit! Only only thing. Uh, <laughs> no, I, do I, tell, I, Trey Love. <laughs> Hey, love sucks. Okay, it now. Is, is that a Chicago <laughs> thing? No, no, no. My no, mind hey, telling yo, me, yo, no. I ain't messing with no young girls. <laughs> look, look, I ain't messing with Was girls. your mind telling you no? Man, no, you my mind is telling me toes. <laughs> oh, these niggas, see how they plan. See how they plan. <laughs> see how they plan. <laughs> see how they plan. I don't <laughs> see nothing, bro. See these niggas is <laughs> With playing. a couple of toes plan. in your mouth. Now, young toes got less <laughs> mileage on them, though. You, it's like when you, when you first start exploring a woman's body, uh, with your with your teeth and your mouth and you sometimes you got to be like you, you just look like something you got to go like what the fuck was this that? nigga giving class oh, yeah, it, it could have been, been a hair it, it could have been a hair it could have been some toe jams this nigga giving real life class yeah man I mean, nah, that's why see, I say when you a toe connoisseur woman, nigga. when you exploring a woman's you know how yeah you know he over here with them glasses though y'all look at this nigga with these, hey, this, this, there's this a lot of things you might end up being like trying to spit out uh, hey it this nigga this nigga's nickname is Toby nigga Tobama hey between him and the goddamn wine I don't know what that's all I know between him and Toby. Toby. <laughs> Toby, it's you. All right, man. <laughs> Once again, y'all, thanks for coming back to Mike Robinson Boulevard live on a Tuesday night. We got the POTUS in the building. Hey, little POTUS. Yo, what's, what's up, up baby love? I'm going to get my Shamar uh, Mora. What's happening, baby girl? <laughs> I see you up there, baby. Is I, that how he does it? Yeah. Hey, baby girl. <laughs> I know you're not white, but, uh, you know. <laughs> What's up, color baby girl? Yeah, you're not white, but you're right. Yeah. Shamar only best with the white girls. Is that what you're saying? I ain't saying all of that, but I he those are the baby girls. Those are baby girls. All right, I man. I think he's equal opportunity by now. Let, let, let's talk well, about. Let me tell the folks who we got up here, man. Because John is an actor, uh, writer, producer, director. But you really spend most of your time acting, right? Toe jam connoisseur. Throw yeah, that in. a toe jam. Hashtag. Are you acting when you suck toes? Yes acting and no. Like a toe sucker. Yes and no. I'm married now, man. But I'm the, like, but I'm still, like, you can I'm, still be acting, nigga. Uh, it depends. Like, is it in your mind, like, I'm sucking a toe? Or do you pretend it's something else? Well, is porno acting? Because there uh, is porn acting. 
It is. It is acting. Then I y'all be acting because back in the day you'd be like, yeah, you know, you want to suck toes at the same time, and this is a whole other uh, 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 area that you venture into. You suck toes at the same time, then you will be like kind of like a superstar because it's combining two or three sensations. Oh shit! And okay, with that, I, I, that's what I'm saying. Two or three sensations. This nigga used sensation. Yeah. I'm kind of scared of that. Trey Love, what uh, I'm switching to you what now, man. We're gonna talk about sensations toes, and shit. Damn, nah, I'm, what nah, what, I'm niggas the don't even guy. have sensations. Nah, I'm the right, bad right. Right, right, right. <laughs> Niggas don't even have a sensation. Yeah, what's a sensation? Fuck, sensation. <laughs> I'm trying to this bitch. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. Damn, you curling your toe. Trey Love, man. Trey Love's an actor as well, man. We're yeah. going to talk about the game a little bit. That's right. Trey Love been on game commercials, been yes. in flicks. Films. John as well. Yeah. Myself as well. So let's get into it, man. Um, one thing I hate that people say about acting is that acting is easy. I hear people saying that shit. Like, oh, he just playing himself and shit, man. That shit is not easy, man. So let's talk about that. What type of prep do you do, John, uh, when you're working, about to go out for um, um, audition? Well, first of all, as far as acting being easy, it's up to the individual. For some people, it is easy. Like, you know, Dustin Hoffman will study the fuck out of a character, whereas, uh, you know, Robert Redford may just hang out and just choose to be himself. I don't know their processes uh, per se, but uh, some people um, will... Do a lot of prep work. I'm the type of person. I do a lot of prep work on the shit. So, uh, but now at this age, what's prep work? Prep work is going to be like you know listening to what the actor, the other actors say about your character, what what uh, lines you choose, what you say about yourself. Hmm. So you kind of looking at. It depends on how much uh, time you have to prepare. If you got a day, that kind of thing will get you through just for the day. But if you have a lot of time, depends on what that act, what that character's occupation is. Uh, what their relationship is to the other actors, uh, the characters, what the scene is all about. There's a lot of things you consider, man. you got to condense down into a moment-by-moment basis. All right, you said that pretty good, man. You're right, man. It is really easy for some people, honestly. But overall, it depends on what you're work. doing, though. And it is work, but the thing is, even if it's easy for you, it's still a craft and a skill that you must master because you have to coexist with other people who are acting at the same time on a screen and make it look believable. And if it's easy for you, it might not be easy for them or it might be, you know what I mean? So just everybody's process is different. Yeah. Everybody. What about you, Trey? Well, what it goes, um, to the way I feel about it, when we talk about process, I love the craft passionately comedy and acting both. I mean, I love them passionately. I've trained. Have you ever gone out with one of them? <laughs> Actually, there's my two main <laughs> bitches. Them have been the two most loyal bitches oh, they, my whole life. They don't never cheat on you? Man, them bitches. You know what? Them bitches, they hoes. They, they ain't they gonna hoes, They hoes. Other motherfuckers is they, fucking them. They fight, that, yeah. but the, but the, that's the beauty of me and them bitches. That's the beauty of me and them two bitches the relationship. The game is getting tossed we, by everybody. Let me tell you something. Me and them two bitches got to understand it. You understand me? Oh, I know them when they with you. They, they with, with you. Me. Huh? When they go, can you to write down their name and pass it on? Uh, <laughs> yeah. and pass it on so her can... name is acting. Her other name is comedy. And there both of them, right, I love them too. She was at my crib last night. Yeah, she was. She, <laughs> she was at. She was at a couple other homies. <laughs> crib. Matter of fact, that bitch is a national. Yeah, it's I, nasty. I, I, no, I, I need to talk. She been dodging my ass. Man. <laughs> Shit, man, you better go go hook her ass. That's what you got. I do. might start sucking some toes. So, so Trey Love, tell me this, man: Have you ever been placed on a casting? couch i'm gonna be honest i've never i've ne- fortunately i can honestly say i've never been put in that kind of position where like you know like somebody where a man to- said like lay down yeah <laughs> 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 hey yeah you want no. the part don't you? yeah right. <laughs> thought you said you wanted a yeah, job yeah, my yeah, name is lee smanuel's name you want to <laughs> <nigga, you> <laughs> be on tv nigga <laughs> yeah nigga let's see what you got motherfucker let me see your toes yeah <laughs> Be on TV? No, I, fortunately, I've never gone through. That. I got the perfect name for you, man. <laughs> Tyler Harry. Tyler Harry. Oh, see, but no. Let me finish talking about the crap, man. You no. asked about the crap. His, uh, I'm because I'm gonna make it quick. I don't want to. No, um, go for it. Go for it. I want to go too too long because I do love the art so much. But I'm gonna say this. He said something. It's easy for some people. It's hard for others. But the process for me is. One thing about acting, I feel like as a uh, as an actor, it's a lot of people you have to please. You have to please a director because he wants he sees the way he wants this character to go. So you have to literally allow yourself to be congruent to someone else's vision and someone else's mood. This writer 
set and wrote his words and he's expecting his words to be expressed properly. Now, not to brag, not to brag, but myself, someone such as myself has mastered the art of being able to be an actor. So it's, I would say just like with stand up now, I've trained extensively in both. So they're easy, but see, here's my thing. And I'm gonna leave it right here. You know how they say, when you do something you love, you don't work a day in your life. That's Mm -hmm. true. Here's what I'm going to say to People that call themselves wanting to be actors or people want to be entertainers or comedians. It's people that get up each and every day that go to school and teach children and they fucking love it. It's people that get up every day and fucking with a scalpel and they go cut somebody's heart open and they fucking love it. Absolutely. It's people that get their fucking um, uh, lawyer books and go to court and they fight shit and they fucking love it. As sperm inseminators. Sperm inseminators. And she was her toes. And yeah, they, they like that shit. And they toe jam and they <laughs> but I say love this. It. I am so truly blessed and I have to first of all thank the universe, God, for blessing me to be able to do acting and stand up comedy stand up comedy for my life's work and honestly it's a true gift and even though I wouldn't say it's easy or hard but it's one of those things that I can't do shit else bro like I'm I'm disabled yeah, not not just late in the game. I'm, I'm disabled. Shit. I'm disabled. Right. I can't like literally. I have a disability. I'm straight up. I can't the work. I I can go to set. I can hold a camera. I can act. I can portray a role. I can get on stage and mic. You know this yourself. I can get on stage and give me a mic and I will talk to motherfuckers all fucking night and have them laughing fucking all night. But anytime I work, I can't work. I can't add. I can't subtract. I can't multiply. I can't divide. I can't spell. I can't do <laughs> nothing. I'm an actor, bitch. All I can do is fucking read. The goddamn script. I have no other skills, motherfucker. Oh, and I can fucking make babies. Aside from that, I oh, can't do for that. shit. Hey, but they are hiring at the uh, uh, bull intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> they are hiring, no. They are hiring jackers. If you can, they are hiring you jack a bull. They, These niggas, you got to you, you don't need no degree to jack off a bull. Honestly. They are hiring jackers. <laughs> you just need some strong they are arms. Hiring jackers. I can't do shit. I am. This Let me tell you about angle. my first film I was in, man, John. You might were you in it, man? I was in school days. Was you in school days? Uh no, I wasn't. You didn't get in it? I did not get in school days. Man, okay, so Spike Lee came to Morehouse and wow. shot school days. Yeah. When I was a freshman. That's awesome. So let me tell you my role, man. I had mm-hmm. a big role, actually. That's what's up. So like if you see the movie uh, school days. 30th there's... anniversary tomorrow, by the way. Oh, is it? Oh, damn. Sure. 30th oh, damn. Well, he got on that HBCU uh, shirt, so he should. Oh, yeah, he it. better do the knowledge, <laughs> goddammit. It took me 10 years to graduate, but uh, go ahead with Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's not even get on that, man. Best, eight, best 10 years of my life. <laughs> you too? Hey, yeah. look, 10 years, no problem. Fuck it, right. I knocked that shit out like it yeah, was shit. Right. <laughs> niggas be doing business hey, for hey, 10 and right. shit. <laughs> he act like he the only nigga that took 10 years to graduate. Really, nigga? You the only nigga that took 10 years to finish college. Right. Really? He think he got the title. Some right. niggas that still ain't finished. Exactly. <laughs> hey, if it took you longer, forty three years old. If it took you longer, please call in. Yeah. I, I, I think I know a few. College reunion coming up. <laughs> Throw in the goddamn time. I think I know a few. Reunion. Nah, man. If you was so, in college during Freak Nick and your ass still in school, something wrong. That's another story. Oh wait, we are gonna tell that's that story. story. Hold it, hold it. That's our that's our next story. Goddamn it. I'll tell it too because that's um. It. So anyway, I was. Spike Lee came to Morehouse to shoot school days. He had some open calls for everybody to come in. You could do a monologue. You could do show your skills, whatever. He just wanted to see people. And he had all types of scenes going on, party scenes, uh, extras, background, and everything, right? <clears throat> so I actually got, like, a featured role because if you, if you look at the movie and you look at the uh, actual homecoming football game, on the halftime, on the field, the football team runs out on the field through the paper and shit, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm one of the guys holding the paper, man. Damn. Yeah, baby. That was, was you, up. my boy. That was me, nigga. That was, I knew with the, that. T- with the hands like this, I was like holding my hands oh. tight. Nigga, God damn. I was, that was nigga, my that was you. Role. That was me. Nigga, that nigga. was you, nigga. I'm going to have to watch that shit that again. That was this nigga. Don't even play man, with that it. Was this, nigga, that was you. I'm going to have to watch that shit again. That was this nigga. You got to. Remember the and nigga look, holding the You knocked that shit out. Day. You nailed that shit. Man, I wore like that. a blue and he pink jacket that. and shit with stars on it so niggas would notice me. You nominated for that, bro. That's Man, they tried to, but... Man, I just wanted to go so to college. Spike you wasn't in it for all of that. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I didn't was in it for the love of the crowd. I didn't want to do yeah. all that. Right, right. He was in it, was in it for the love. You, you fourth water. You fourth water. The whole 
motivation. Uh, now, now What's my do, motivation? With yeah. Let me do a side note right quick because since I have a special person in here right now with me, HBCU I must talk Stoner about this. this motherfucker. Hold a, a HBCU. He brought up the freak, Nick. Bring I'm literally sitting right next to the person who created the name. Oh, go ahead. Get no. out of here. Created the name. Oh, oh stop it with this all This is that legendary, break. man. You deserve like some shit yeah, for it. Oh, come you on deserve now. Come like on. a lifetime Nate, 40 hours. Really, listen, listen, stop up. Well, okay. Tell a story. No, real talk. <laughs> I, no, no. Now, well, tell a story. Okay, it's true, well, true story. Okay, okay. So listen, you know, back back in LA, uh, especially LA. back in the 80s, in 84, you know, Egyptian Lover was hot. Hell yeah. All we said was freaks Egypt. this, freaks that, freak, Egypt. give me a freak to call and try to freak up, your, up the wall, blah, blah, blah. Right. So... We at Morehouse, right, and the D.C. Metro Club's having a picnic, right? The picnic was popping. All right, but it's cool, but it's, it's popping. But they don't, you know, it's the D.C. Metro Club picnic, right, or the Tri-State picnic or whatever. So I was like hanging with all the homies from L.A., and we like, damn, man. You know, freak being the word. I was like, there's a lot of freaks at this picnic. It's like motherfucking freaknik. And niggas was like... Freak Nick, damn, <laughs> that shit is funny, you know, but you true, it shit is hella truthful. The best comedy comes from truth. That's so, right. So, I was like, there's a hella lot of freaks at this picnic, this is a Freak Nick. That shit took off like wildfire. Motherfuckers, Man. Was, motherfuckers was telling it like it was they joke and shit. Oh, I was at the picnic, no, we was at the Freak Nick. And after that, the uh, next year, it got bigger and bigger. The, snowball, the next year, snowball. it was called so bro, the Freak Nick. The bro, next year, it was called the Freak Nick. But the first two years, it was, it was a DC, DC, Met- Metro, DC Club. Metro Club. <laughs> but there was babes on towels, like, oh no, on blankets, in their bathing suits at White Park. And at I, the park. And I lived right across the street. And mm-hmm. I was like, mm-hmm. and of course, so I'm like, I can't believe these ho- these. Babe, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, these are college sisters. I was like, I can't, can't believe these babes. It's, Y'all heard him say hoes. Uh, he, he, meant, he meant it when he said, hoes? I can't believe these hoes. Hey, listen, let me hold up because I may run for president when he said, I ain't going to lie. I can't believe <laughs> these hey, hey, I was like, I it's, can't we had a park and they on a picnic blanket and they got on bikinis. These is a lot of freaks at these picnics. <laughs> yeah, it must it be some freaks. freaks right this there. This is freaks. Freak at, this is a freak nick. And it just took off like wildfire. So you created right. the name Freak Nick. I termed, I termed the coin. I, I, I coined Term. the phrase. Niggas ain't pay you shit. Freak Nick. Wow. And I ain't looking for it. Look, look, just HBC. You just want that. You just up. want that love, right? HBC. Exactly. Just HBC. give me a little love. Because there will never be another Freak Nick. You cannot run it back You know what? They again. can't. They can't. You can't run it they back. Can't, that no time, matter how hard you try. That you can't time, run it back. Man, let me tell you something, bro. I was, man, I was a kid. I was like in my early 20s, man. The fun we had, man. The way them girls was popping Oh. Oh, Brothers stopped up. I, I knew it was gonna. I knew it was gonna be over when I saw somebody stop a Marta bus. They stopped a Marta bus. Brothers climbed on top of the bus, and they were all dancing on top of the yeah, bus yeah. during Freaknik. I was like, Freaknik ain't gonna last. Cause I knew it wasn't gonna last when like, they got sponsors, nigga. It was like Coca Cola yeah. sponsoring Freaknik. I was like, what the fuck? Freaknik was off the chain. It man. was off the chain. They got they, big, and there would never be another. But It'll I wish be another man. If there, it, it was like a Negro. Woodstock. It was. it was. It was. Except it was in the park. If we could ever run it back, please, let's find a way to if do it. If we that. could do something just like that. Just for one year. Yeah. Just, just try. Just one year. year. But it, it took, it would took they, literally. Would they still be freaks? It took a, a little. Will there be freaks? If, if, no, no, Stop no, all no, of no. That no. Would, boogie. You would, talking about like an ATL? No, no, no. Would those freaks still be freaks? <laughs> <laughs> you mean the freaks from back then? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this fool. That is the With question. Those freaks, <laughs> yeah. Well, listen. Still be the freaks. You, you remember Montres back in the day? Montres. I think I heard of Montres. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. So I, I'm going to say it's 50 50. Uh, hey. Well, Montres. Montres if, if you drove by Montres, you got chlamydia. Them grandmamas now. Them freaks. Yeah. Them grandmas. But it well, don't stop. They got Hold up. It, Cotton but it ain't gonna stop low. the show. Let it me ain't. see that pussy go. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Hey, hey, this bitch ain't Jared 43. Tall. This bitch ain't 43. I'm like, hold up, bitch. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, this nigga said Jared Tall. <laughs> hey, hey they up. sipping lean. Right. Uh, they, it, right mix man. it up with Jared Tall. This bitch 43 years old. Uh, get my amp. Give me, give me my Ben Gay, bitch. I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> These bitches ain't seen nothing. And be like, up. what is that smell? Bitch, rub my hip, mm. ho. I'm about to get it. <laughs> Cotton candy sweet. Uh, All bitches ain't a freak, Nick. Man. Oh, that yeah, was they will still be freaks, though. So. You run it back, they, they'll be there. You build it, they will come. <laughs> if you build it, they will come. <laughs> you freak it, they will be there. Egypt. My homie on uh, live, he said grand freaks. <laughs> grand like, freaks? And you got the grandmamas. 
Oh, Grand Freak? I, I, I certainly hope. Uh, There's part of me that hopes Freak, Freak Nick will never die. Yeah, yeah. Freak Nick is real. Man, I, that I'm shit ready. was wonderful. Freak I'm ready. Nick was really something special. And I'm glad. I know we are blessed to be have, have experienced something as much fun as Freak Nick. Because nobody got hurt, man. It was just people just fucking. It was like a, well, a few it, niggas it, got hurt. <laughs> I will say, I will say, yeah. I went to the Foot Locker with my boy Octav, and he got these brand new Dr. J's. And when the fight broke out, we all looking for each other. But I knew where Octav was because I saw all I saw was his like those those uh, <laughs> his, his, his his shoes up in the air, and brothers wow. were being like boom boom. Damn. I was like, damn. Man. I said, I was like, oh shit. But nah, that was the one time it jumped off on Freaknik. But even yeah. still. Even still, still you know, niggas didn't stop. It wasn't no gunfire. <laughs> yeah, wasn't no gunfire. A couple of yeah. little ass whooping. Yeah. I just don't want to be the one getting my ass whooped because I'm going to the Congress. They don't let them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna testify? Hey, hey, y'all you gonna hit flip? Me. You gonna I'm flip on you know, us? Now I'm like, don't gonna... let them niggas have nothing. They don't know how to act. I'd have been like Rick James was in the goddamn. I don't know why they gave you niggas money. They should have never gave you niggas. Freak they should have never gave you never niggas gave you, shit. You would have you flipped see, on some freak niggas. Man, look, I'd be all on the TV with my shit, with my arm and my leg. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, uh, what happened? I was at the goddamn. He's I a, was hanging out yesterday. Y'all, hey, and dude. I'm looking at this motherfucker. Hey, speaking yeah. of that, I think I saw Omarosa at Freak Nick. I like Omarosa. All right, I'm just kidding. I don't That's know if I saw Oh, I was getting ready to say, damn, nigga, wait, That's how you remember bitch. that shit? Omarosa's a bad bitch. Really? Yes, I got a picture with Did you I'll smash? Take that. I'll take... I would smash no, Omarosa. I, no, did you? No, I didn't. Would you? <laughs> yes, I would. Would you smash <laughs> my Would you boogie? smash Mark? Oh, he's, he's all married and shit. Let's would see. I? Let's see I would. Answer. I mean, if you were Easily. single. If you Easily. Were single. You can stop all of that would you smash talk because of course. I mean, you know. Uh, Amarosa is fine. Y'all she really talk, would you let that, her talk? That, would I let her talk? Yeah. No, I wouldn't. No, I, if I was a fucker, I'd treat her like, like a goddamn motherfucking bitch. I'd be called <coughs> a bitch. <laughs> I, I'd like grudge. I would like grudge fuck Amarosa. You know what really? I'm saying? Be like, be like yeah. <laughs> Why bitch. was you fucking with that nigga Trump? No, nah, no. Nah. Like Amarosa, I'd be like, I, I would like, you know how like you, you fucking with a bitch and like she like you and shit, and you ask her like, let's try shit. I'd be like, hey, um, let's role play. Yeah, you can I suck your you toes? Nigga, <laughs> 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 stupid. I would, I would chill. No, but wait, I would chill I, and I like listen to that. Going. Listen wait, to wait, that wait. sister, cause where was you going though? You nigga said I was gonna tie her up. I heard you say tie her up. Tie her up. Put a noose around her neck and shit. Oh my god! Hey, oh look. damn! I mean, just look oh oh, oh, just so we are, we are, oh, just we are, we are talking role that play. That nigga got slave role play. Like you are, we are talking role play. Your name's shit. Toby, I'm bitch. Nigga, so I'm the only nigga that will do <laughs> some, some Toby. Uh, uh, role play. I'm uh, the only one. Oh I no, like the like role play. Yeah. Role play. <laughs> oh, I'm the only one that's gonna do the role play. Look I, at this. You might be the only one who does the noose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna listen to see what she has to say though because she is like the ultimate Lady Macbeth. Yeah, she is the Lady Macbeth. Oh, that's deep. I, well, yeah, that's why you put the wine on the side to let the cork uh, uh, keep the cork moist. But anyway, yeah, she is the ultimate Lady Macbeth, and that's what you want Damn, on your. He study hard. That's what you want. You took classes. That's what you want. Yeah, I'm listen. sitting here thinking, who the fuck he is read. Macbeth? Yeah, I told Mike, you. Look, I was in college for Macbeth. damn near ten years. <laughs> Uh, I did. <laughs> he read about her fifteen times. <laughs> That's the one you want in your corner, cause she gon' she gon she gon cut. You want her in your corner, man? Kind you can't even up. trust her, man. You can't even you fucking trust her. Man. Look, man, she gon' cut a motherfucker. She was riding on that shit, man, until until the fucking wheels came off, and now she want niggas to put her tires back on. Shut the fuck up. I agree. with And you I ain't on reading that. your goddamn book. I do hope you take that nigga down, but I still ain't reading your fucking book. Look, I'm, or, I'm or ready for the intro, book. Or your exit, or your goddamn, what do they call that shit in the beginning of a book? Um, the prelude. Uh, the, the prologue. Yeah, yeah, the prologue. Yeah, yeah. So all that shit. The nigga, Concord. Nigga, the, yeah, the Honda, yeah. Honda Accord. I ain't even reading your fucking Honda Accord. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, I'm, I'm listening, though, because uh, you do want an ambitious sister on your side. Uh, they all going to remember your mama's birthday and your favorite color and all that shit. But all that shit aside, you want a, a, a fucking demon. You want a Lady Macbeth. That's what I like about it. Who the hell is a Lady Macbeth? Man, his old uneducated ass. <laughs> yeah, I this know. nigga, this nigga, you, you can tell he ain't with the nobody 10th grade. Nigga, I was in the parking lot. You talking about well, who's Lady Macbeth? He's smoking weed all the night. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this nigga. You tell nigga still ain't saying nothing. One of them niggas it, smoking Trey weed. Love, one of them niggas like, you don't know Lady Macbeth, she nigga. Was, you she ain't was, shit, No, nigga. Lady Macbeth was the wife. Lady Macbeth was the wife of Macbeth, and she was the one 
who kind of his co-conspirator who put him up to a lot of shit. Bro, you ain't never read Macbeth, bro, for real. For real. But listen, when she make that shit into a movie, who I'll, the be, fuck is I'll be the first one. You still one. ain't saying. Shakespeare, Didn't bro. I just say he was oh, Macbeth's wife? She was Macbeth's wife. But who the fuck it's is Macbeth? Whole, it's a tragic story, bro. It's one of the most tragic stories. I read the Iliad made. and shit. This, this I read that motherfucker. And Othello. He was, Othello, in, line, Othello, he was in line hot. for the king of Scotland. <laughs> Othello's hot, because that's he was, he was He was another brother just trying to become the king of his castle and the king whatever. But his wife was like, look, you too scary, motherfucker. You need to uh, step your game up and be ready to start popping caps in the motherfucker if you really want it. And she got him killed. What year was this? 1500s, nigga. They didn't even have no caps, did they? Uh, yeah. Swords, nigga. Yeah, yeah. They, look, you gotta be ready to stab a nigga. A drive-by was done by a bow and arrow back in them days. <laughs> they, was doing, they was doing uh, uh, horse buys. Horse <laughs> buys. <laughs> right. We, you horse had to, buys. And you had to inseminate your carries? own horse and shit. Yeah. Oh, see, here we go. Ride niggas. Like, here carry me, nigga. Let me get on your back right quick. But that's what I like about that sister, though. She's gonna help you get your ambition straight. And, uh... Oh, give me that. Give I me think she's going to tie a nigga up in his sleep and shit. Nigga, yeah. you wake up and she got the whip out and all that as shit. As long as you know what you're dealing with, she might do that too. But if she's, she's going to feather the nest. Man, I bet on the low, low women like I'm a rose, I bet she's a passionate lover. You can't, Y'all but you can't pull her hair, though. Yeah, because she's she, she going to be like, nigga, let she go of my weed. shit. Man. I bet she's a passionate lover. I bet you, <laughs> yeah. could, I bet you could grab her feet. Ah. Oh, I bet you could suck them. <laughs> See, y'all all of them sucking the toes, nigga. I ain't sucking no motherfucking toes, man. I'm telling you. I tickle the motherfucker. She look like she'll make a nigga suck her toes. toes. Do you think Trump smashed? Hell yeah. That is the smashed. question. That's the million the dollar question. I believe he smashed. You think he did? Hell yeah. Man, Donald Trump. Let you think he's, you think plus, he's, plus he got respect about, issues. Uh, uh, okay. Let me tell you something. Donald Trump is slinging that little white dick. Uh, ben slinging <laughs> that little white dick all over America. Let me tell you. Just like, I'm going to tell you niggas that's really I don't think he pussy. smashed, though. You don't think Donald Trump he smashed? He could have, man. Nah, because she's smart enough to know that if he does smash, she loses her power. Booyah. Hell no. Damn, see, this nigga went all the way to school. She probably, she probably let him. He, he probably, <laughs> that's for 10 years of yeah, yeah, that's hey, hey, hey. She probably let him, she probably that's let him fill her up. Education. Maybe she felt him up. I oh, mean, maybe he felt her up, up but right. smash no. Felt her up, man. That's... Yeah, because Donald's, Donald's a motherfucking freak, though. I heard, I heard that. Uh... Donald's going to bump. He's going to rub up against you. He's going to cop a feel. He's going to do all of that yeah, entitlement shit. Can I touch your pussies. laptop? Yeah, yeah. Don't <laughs> get Donald Trump to grab him by the pussy and they like it. He's oh, going to grab. But, but the minute she'll she sock the shit out of nigga. But the minute that. he smash, she lose her power. So I think she's smart enough to know <clears> that. She lose her Plus, power? She lose her power. Plus, she went to Howard. Did she make him eat it then? Mm. You don't lose the power, then you gain. This is some nice, nasty ass conversation but we having I, about Donald Trump. But I don't, I don't think, I don't think that Donald was gonna do that uh, without smashing. Well, he got pissed on. No, I don't. Yeah, think he got you heard on. about that? Oh, you don't think he got pissed on? I think he fake? was. I think he was doing the pissing. I Come think on, there, man, Mike Boogie. I think there was piss involved, but I'm not <laughs> sure it was Donald getting pissed on. I think he was getting pissed on, man. Come Donald on, Donald Trump. Getting pissed don't on. you love that visual? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> I like the visual. Not so sure if that one happened. Mm. Yeah, damn. We don't know shit though. But really. here's the thing, yeah. though. You know, people are eating his shit, so uh, <laughs> they will uh, watch the lemonade. That's all I can say. Wow. Wait, what do you mean by that? Because he, what people wait for him now for <laughs> is just for talking points. And so whatever his talking points are, whatever he says, they repeat that shit like it's Bible truth. Like, okay, uh, uh, it's fake news. He's been conditioning motherfuckers with the fake news for fucking since since he got he he passes the buck and he says a whole lot of dumb shit. And his base eats it up. They eat his they literally be eating his shit. And like I said, if you like the if you like the brownies, you you you'll dig the uh, lemonade. Mm. And that's all I'm saying. Damn. This nigga got sayings and Man, everything. This nigga went to college. Day. Hey, Day. hey, that ten years, that ten year college. Yeah, yeah. I, took, I probably he did some shit for his memory. He earned, he I took earned, some classes he in ten years. All ten years. This nigga college. took one class per Damn. semester and shit. But I studied <laughs> in that one class though. <laughs> shit, I, I studied my ass off in that one class. Right, nigga, ten right. years. Them took it in because the education he got it. I liked the black man that really. I mean, because he's well spoken. Is he finishing his sentences with periods and question marks and adjectives and adverbs and commas and parentheses? Season. I mean, when he's talking, he's like, "Yes," and, and it's philosophically. I'm, I'm in it for the commas, as yeah. a matter of fact. Yeah, ain't no run-on sentences over here. Nigga. I'm in it for the commas, especially when the checks and oh, He says he's for the commas. All right, y'all. Look, man, we had an hour, man. We had nine thirty party people. Here, hey, oh, look, man. Pretty ass white girl, day twelve. That's the movie. That's the film. 
Pretty oh, ass yeah. white girl day twelve. Just got in n- another film festival. We tell did, tell we us did, real quick the about sidewalk. the recap because we got to close it up. Oh, tell we us. did the Sidewalk <laughs> Film Festival in Birmingham, Alabama. It was amazing. Um, and from that, I had people approach me and be like, hey, would you bring your film to, to, to my film festival? Mm-hmm. I was like, wow, that's that was great. you know. And the thing about Pretty Ass White Girl, it's Pretty Ass White Girl, and it's in the South, uh, playing in the South. And it's going to be the, the N-word thrown around rather liberally. It's a metaphor for empathy and inclusion. So, you know, the film is going to be controversial, but it was meant to be. Empathy and inclusion. That shit sounds special. But but on a sideways type of tip, you're going to see a lot of films in, in a film festival about, you know, brutality, um, you know, uh, hardships and Negro, Negro hardships and stuff like that. And I just wanted to indulge the conversation, but on a different level. Without right. the hardship, so right. But you know all about it. But Mike Boogie's one of the producers. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We had a ball too, man. It was great work, though. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it, well, I learned a lot. Learned a lot. It was great work. Learned a lot. But look for it. Okay, so we did Birmingham Sidewalk Film Festival in Birmingham, Alabama. We have the um, the International Black Film Festival coming up in Nashville, Tennessee. We have the um, Urban Media Filmmakers in Atlanta, Georgia, in October, and then we have the uh, Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival. Uh, also coming up in November, and a couple more, which you know, as they in the works and more coming as they exactly. develop, you know, more, more, and more. Uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So dope, man. Dope. Pretty ass white girl day twelve. All right, John Eddins right there, man. Uh, what's your uh, Instagram? Same thing, right? Pretty, yeah. Pretty ass white girl. Pretty ass white girl. Yeah. yeah. Trey Love, man, where can he find you? Trey Love Vision, www.treluv3.com. That's treylove3.com. And I just want to say, man, I'm y'all just motivated the shit out of me, man. I'm so excited for you, brothers. I love it, man. Festival, man. Like, flat out, like, um, just a little bit of background on me. I know you probably saw my film, Cyber Mac. Nah. Oh, man, I did a film called Cyber Mac. It won Best Short Film in the Mock Film Festival back in 2014. But I'm currently... Um, interning at a uh, media center where I'm going to learn uh, film and all that kind of stuff. So I'm definitely looking for 2019 to be a magnificent year. And, Is there um, going to be a sequel to Cyber yes. Mac called like Mac Jihad? <laughs> I tell you what, all bullshit aside, bro, I, the guy who uh, wrote it, um, directed it, uh, he and I are very tight. Because, I mean, when you go to a film festival and you win, you know, that makes a... I got I got to see friendship. Cyber Mac now, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah nigga, well, I see Cyber guess Mac. what? It's on Funny or Die, the Will Ferrell website. That's how good it is. All this right. Shit is hot. There needs to be a sequel. Let's make it happen. We can make it happen. So what's your tell where can it where can they can find me at www.treluv3.com and make sure y'all pay attention and stay tuned to what I'm doing because I'm getting ready to start a vlog where I'm going to uh chart my day. You know, people know I'm going through a custody battle, so I'm going to go play take y'all to court with me. I'm going to eat with y'all, exercise with y'all, everything. I'm going to make it happen. So pay attention keep keep in touch with your nigga, man, cuz I'm going to be making some shit happen, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 I was like, hey, man, all right, I'm, man, I'm, I'm keeping my booty. You're going, you going through customs, man. Child, child yeah. I love my Bullshit. kids. I, I love my customs. kids. All right, you know, I hate my baby. All right, Poetis, kids, thank you. Know? Yeah, Poetis, thank you so much. Yeah, thank y'all. Peace. I like my green with crystals like folders. Picking up momentum, rolling like boulders. They call me ice, but I'm really much colder. My rhymes is heavy like the weight on my shoulders. I'm spitting that red hot smoldering lava. I fight to the in like the Navajo, crack a bottle though, make it the goose with cranberry and triple sec, triple my check, I feel the ripple effect of a fool on the loose, I hit you from every angle, from obtuse to right, street shit like JJ, I'm dynamite, slide me some dough, I show you an execution in the flesh, and promise not to leave nothing left, if you vomit, I keep stabbing, shooting, damaging, looting, till it ain't no disputing who the greatest is. Is.